Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Bay. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you the KSSM V6 Paper 3. And the experiment I'm going to discuss with you is one of the experiments from Physics Form 5 Syllabus Chapter 3 UFCCT from the subtopic of Section 3.3 EMF and Internal Resistance. The aim of the experiment I'm going to discuss with you is to study the effect of the connecting of dry cell in series and barrier on current flow in the circuits. So basically, the experiment are going to discuss whether the dry cells arranged in series or barrier will be contribute to more current flow. Okay, so this is a format instrument for Physics SPM, which is started from 2021. So we have the paper one, paper two, and paper three. As mentioned just now, today we will be going to focus on paper three discussion. Okay, so basically the genius instrument for the paper three will be genius Amali. So that means you need to conduct experiment and get the result from experiment and answer the question listed in the paper three. So basically all the question here will be subjective workshop two, and there will be only one question for subject physics and also others pure science subject. And the total mark for this paper will be 15 marks and the duration for the test will be about 45 minutes. So basically there is a changes of the way how the paper three conducted during the SPM. So initially, 2021, the three of the paper for the pure science subject is actually combined together. So there will be about total two hours, 15 minutes. And the question is actually combined together for three pure subjects. Then later on, they already changes to the test paper is actually separate to three subjects. But the experiment is conducting together which is just how I mentioned to you is two hours, 15 minutes for all the pure science subjects actually providing same 45 minutes. This year, 2023, so the three, the three pure subjects of paper three is actually tested and scheduled separately. So the duration is actually also the same for each pure science subject, which is about 45 minutes. And you will be providing five minutes to read the question and check your apparatus. So you will be allowed to start your experiment after five minutes. So that means you'll be left another 40 minutes to conduct your experiment and complete your paper three. Okay, so before we go to our experiment today, let us discuss the type of question you are going to face in the physics paper three. Okay, so basically there are two types of the question. The first type of question will be known as the Guided Practical Assignment and in BM we know as the Dugasa Amali Babantu. So where the procedure and diagram of the experiment will be provided. So a uh, candidate just need to follow a procedure and diagram and conduct the experiment. So this side of the question will be considered easier. So the candidate don't need to plan the experiment, just follow the procedure set in the question. Okay, so uh, previously, actually, I have did few video clips regarding the Tugasa Army Babantu. So this is one of that, which is uh, to determine the electro motif, force EMF, and the internal resistance of the battery. So if you want to know more about this, you may referring to this video. Okay, then the second type will be the non-guided practical assignment. So for this side of the question, the procedure and diagram will be not provided. Okay, so the candidate have to plan the experiment based on the question. So the question normally will be given you the end of the experiment. Okay, so you need to point out the MV and RV and plan the experiment and draw the diagram. So this type of question we know as the non-guided practical assignment or VM we know as the Dugasan Amali Tita Bubantu. So again, previously I also did few video clip regarding the Tugasa Amali Tita Bubantu. So you may go to the video clip here to get more information. 
Okay, so for today's video, we are going to discuss uh, the type of question in Tugasan Amani Bantu. So that means in this video, the question will be discussed when the procedure and diagram will be provided. So later, I will show you the type of question. Secondly, it will be the type of the experiment. So basically, the type of the experiment is also can be classified to two different types. Okay, so the first will be known as a hypothesis experiment. So the hypothesis experiment involves about five manipulated variables and five responding variables. Okay, so that means you need to plot the graph from the data you get uh, after you do your experiment. So here we have a few examples of the experiment which is uh, under the hypothesis experiment. Okay, so the first will be to study the relationship between the length and the resistance of wire. Then the second will be to determine the relationship between the mass and volume of an object. Okay, so for the first, to study the relationship between the length and the resistance. So that means we need to have the prime different MV, which is the length of the wire. Can be 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So as you already go through your Chapter three. So the resistance of the wire will be increases uh, when the length of the wire increases. So that means you will be have your own responding variable R one, R two, R three, R four, and R five. Okay. So where you can get the R, so you can get from the ohm's law. So that means you measure your voltage and you measure your uh, current by using the voltmeter and ammeter. And then you get the data, 5 MV and 5 RV, you plot the graph. Then the second one will be the different mass will be affecting the value of volume. Okay, so this experiment I also already discussed previously. So you may go to the link of the video uh, stated here and get for more information about this type of the experiment. Okay, the next type of the experiment will be known as a non-hypothesis experiment. So mostly for this type of experiment will be no, to not involve many value of the MV and RV. So there will be maybe few MV for you to uh, get your responding variable. And for this type of question, normally will be no graph will be plotted. So here with the example, to determine the specific heat of fusion, of the eyes so this will be we want to get a value okay so normally it will be not involved so many mv and rv here and the graph is also not need to plot to get specific heat of the fusion of the eyes and the second will be to determine the value of gravitation acceleration so that means we want to get a value then the next thing will be to determine the critical angle of the glass plot so all of this we want to get a value and again, you may referring to the link of video set here where you may more know about the non-hypothesis experiment. And in this video, I am going to introduce to you an example of the non-hypothesis experiment. So that means here, there will be not five MV and RV going to discuss, but actually here we have the MV and RV for for the experiment, just we not use the value to plot any graph for this video. Okay, so here will be the common question are going to ask, or you will be see in the paper three. So the first thing, uh, there will be all the question regarding the process of the science. So the first here, there will be inference. So the question may ask you about the inference, and this side of the question is actually already go through together with your school teacher during the compulsory experiment, you have already have experience to write your science report. Okay, so this is all the common question you actually already go through. Right? The first the question may ask you to state one suitable inference, hypothesis, uh, procedure. Okay, so for procedure, that means that this sort of question will be considered as Amali uh, Tita Bantu. So the question do not give you, given you the procedure, then you have to plan the procedure for the experiment and number four will be the precaution number five will be the variable so here will be 
MV, RV, and CV. Uh. The next year will be analy analyzing the data. So the question we're asking you about the relationship between, between your MV and RV and also others uh, data analysis question may be asked you. Okay, so this is a distribution mark. And in this video, I'm going to discuss with you the question regarding the hypothesis, uh, precaution, variable, and together with data analysis. Okay, so besides that, you will be also see these are of the common question in your paper three. So for example, tabulation, okay, so tabulate your result, then plot the graph, draw your observation, uh, prediction, operational definition, and deduction. Okay, so in this video, I am going to discuss with you how we tabulate your result, then do the prediction, and how we write the operational definition together with the deduction. Okay, so after we discuss the type of question, type of experiment, and the common question you are going to see in paper three. So now let us go through the experiment we are going to discuss in this video. Okay, so basically, uh, as I mentioned just now, we are going to discuss the experiment where we are to study the effect of the connecting drive cell in series and barrier arrangement on current flow in the circuit. Actually, this is uh, one of the experiments at your textbook page 119 to 120. This is not a compulsory experiment, but for this experiment, which is the activity 3.8, will be able to let you more understand the problem solving involving in the drive cell, which is connecting in series and parallel and they may be affecting your EMF, potential different, internal resistance together with current flow. Okay, so the first three, uh, EMF, potential different, internal resistance, I'm not going to discuss with you. And you may refer to my previous video, which is with this link to get more information regarding the experiment. So in this experiment, I will be discussed with you regarding the effect of the connecting dry cell in series and parallel arrangement on the current flow in the circuits. So basically, we'll be, we'll be get this data. Lah. In your textbook, you are actually already have some basic knowledge regarding the theory on the effect of dry cell connected in series and parallel arrangement. Okay, so from this figure, you can see the dry cell is actually arranged in two different ways. So this is the uh, way how we arrange a dry cell in series. So that means here the dry cell is actually con uh, connect to one others end to end. So there will be only one path in the circuit here. And you may see that when the dry cell is arranged in series, so the internal resistance, which is represented as a small letter R, will be increases from 1R to 4R, which is from this figure, you can see four uh, dry cell is actually con connected end to end to one and others. Then the second, besides the effective, so besides increase the effective internal resistance, so from here, you can see the total EMF, which is the electro motive force is also affected. So the value of the EMF will be increases when the dry cell is arranged in series. So what is the meaning of the total EMF? So the total EMF, that means that if the one dry cell equivalent to 1.5 volt, so the total EMF for the dry cell arrangement in series for this figure will be 4 times 1.5, so equivalent to 6 volt. So that means here, the EMF provided 
for the circuit is actually more. On the other hand, you can see this is a dry cell which is arranged in parallel. So they will be all the dry cell will be branched to one and others. So that means here you can see they have four paths in the circuit. Okay, so for this arrangement, the effective internal resistance is actually decreases. Wow the total emf will be not changed so here you can see will be equal to 1.5 yeah i say 1.5 volt is the emf able to provide by one dry cell so that means here when the dry cells is arranged in parallel so they will be added as a single single dry cell okay so where the voltage provided to the circuit is only 1.5 for this case la. okay so the conclusion here you can see the dry cell in series increase the emf while the arrangement of the dry cell in parallel will be reduce the effective internal resistance so here in this experiment we are going to discuss the effect of the effective emf provided to circuit where will be affecting the current flow in the circuit so in this case, we are going to measure the current flow in the circuit by using emitter. And then we have to observe the brightness of the bulb for different type of the arrangement of the dry cell, which is in series or parallel. So we expected the current flow in the circuit, which is where the dry cell in series will be higher. Then for the dry cell in parallel will be lower due to the emf provided to the circuit is higher in the dry cell in series compared to the arrangement of the dry cell in parallel okay so here uh let me go through together with you what is the modification i already modified uh at the activity 3.8 Okay, so basically this is the uh, activity 3.8 where you may get from your textbook okay so this is the arrangement where you may find in your textbook here will be the modification for the activity 3.8 so from this two figure okay you may see that the dry cell is arranged in series for this diagram and then this diagram will be arrangement of dry cell in parallel. Okay, so basically the first modification here, I remove the voltmeter in our experiment here. Okay, so you can see this just have the emitter for measuring the current. Then second, I replace the resistance by using a bulb for each of the circuits then the last year i changed the numbers of dry cell it come to for each circuit here okay so here before the experiment we start we actually need to know what is the variable for the experiment okay so firstly the arrangement of the dry cell will be the manipulator variable for this uh, activity 3.8 then the second there will be the rv where we want to measure the reading of emitter for different type of the circuit here and then we want to observe the brightness of the bar so we want to see which type of the arrangement of the dry cell will be given uh, brighter of the bulb okay then here you can see the control variable here will be the numbers of the bulb for these two type of the circuit so the numbers of the cell uh we are going to use will be only two lah. okay so as per discussion just now so the die cell where a range in series will be providing higher effective emf so that means we expected the current produced in the cv circuit will be higher and the 
but will be light up brighter if the dry cell is arranged in series circuits. So now let us uh, go through the question together. This is a candidate checklist where the candidate need to check the apparatus and their quantity. So you are not allowed to work with apparatus in the first five minutes. So this period is used to check the apparatus list, read the question and plan the experiment which is carried out. So mark in the box provided to check the bacteria. So as I mentioned, you are providing for 45 minutes for the paper three subject physics and also others pure, pure science subject. So the first five minutes is actually to let you check the apparatus and quantity of the apparatus. And then you may also read the question within these five minutes so that you may able to plan the experiment after the five minutes. Okay, so basically for this experiment, so there will be two quantity of bug with holder going to use. Then battery holder will be about three, battery will be four, and meter two, connecting wire will be eight. So let's say you check your apparatus, all is, is already uh, correct. So you may take the checklist and straight away you go to real question and plan your experiment. In this experiment, the procedure will be provided. So this consider as Tugasan Amali Babandu. Okay, so let us go through the procedure together. Okay, so you are required to compare the current flow for the dry cell connected in series and barrel. So in this sentence, actually, you already need to know what is the uh, MV and RV for this experiment. Firstly, the question asks you to compare the current. So they mean this is the uh, RV where you want to measure by using the emitter. Okay, and then the parallel and series for the dry cell connection will be referring to RV. Okay, then the next carry up the experiment by using the step below. Okay, so first step, set up the apparatus as shown in diagram A and B. Close the switch, record the emitter readings and compare the brightness of the box for dry cell arranged same as the diagram A and B here. Okay, so the question will given you which diagram referring to parallel or series. So you need to identify yourself for this question here. Okay, so here, as I mentioned, yeah, I said there will be no any graph going to plot. So normally, this type of question we know as the non-hypothesis experiment. So now we need to uh, identify which dry cell which arrangement or dry cell is actually given higher current flow. And here from the step number three, you can see besides we want to get the reading, we also want to compare the brightness of the bar. Okay, so as per discussion just now regarding the theory, so we know that for the dry cell which is connected in series will be providing a higher effective EMF. So that means the emitter readings will be higher for the dry cell which is arranged in series. So that the bulb will be also brighter because the current providing is higher. Okay, so first, as per mentioned just now, the question not given you which is the, which circuit in the diagram A and B here referring to series and parallel. So you need to identify yourself. So you can see from here, the right side is actually connected uh, end to end. So here will be also only one path in the circuit. So this will be referring to series. While the diagram B, you may see the right side is actually arranged uh, branches to each other. And here we have two here we have two paths. So top, one path, the bottom, another path. So the diagram B here will be referring to 
pair error. Okay, so which is I already labeled here series circuit for the diagram A, and then parallel pair circuit will be for diagram B. Then explanation before the experiment, you actually need to identify MV, RV, and CV so that they will be more easier for you to conducting the experiment after the five minutes where you are allowed to check the apparatus and read the question. So as per mentioned just now, the current flow will be referring to our RV. Okay, so where we want to measure the current flow in the circuits. Then the drive cell connected in series of parallel here will be referring to the MV. Then the control variable here will be referring to numbers of line cell. Okay, so after you identify all your variable, you should understand how you are conducting the experiment and what the data you are going to to get during the experiment. Okay, so now let me show you how we conduct the experiment based on the procedure provided where we want to study the effect of the connecting line cell in series and parallel on the current flow in the circuits. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Bay. In this video, I am going to discuss with you one of the experiments related to the Form 5 Physics Chapter 3 electricity and at the sub optic 3.5, which is electron motive force and the internal resistance. And this is actually not a compulsory experiment for the four five samples, but this is a very important experiment to let you more understand the for solving involving the internal resistance together with the electro motor force. In this experiment, we are going to study the effect of the dry cell which is connected in series or parallel, affecting the brightness of the together with the current flow in the circuit. For this experiment, we are going to use two emitter, four dry cells, two uh, light bulbs together with the bulb holders, two switch and three battery holders together with the wire with product gates. So now let us start our experiment. Before we conducting our experiment, you must make sure that what is your mating predator variable, responding variable and together with control variable. So in this experiment, the control variable will be numbers of the device sound for each arrangement of the circuits. Okay, so for the respective arrangement, they will be only using two batteries each arrangement. And then the responding variable here will be we need to measure the current flow in respective arrangement of their circuit by using any term. And we also want to see the different the brightness for the different arrangement of the dry cell in the circuits. So for sure that the many predator variable here will be the different arrangement of the dry cell in the circuit, which is parallel and series. Now let us start the arrangement of the dry cell in series. So for connection of the dry cell in series, we will be using only one uh, battery holders, one light bulb together with the box holders, switch two batteries or light cell together with one emitters. So, firstly, you must know how to arrange the apparatus and please arrange according to diagram provided or the diagram you stage before start experiment. Firstly, insert your battery in the battery holder. And here you can see there is only one button at the bottom which is a technical terminal. And there are four terminal positive at the top of the battery holder. So from here the first space will be together with the negative terminal here. So that means the first battery will be inserted into the first space here. Then the second one will be just inside the first battery Space. So this will be the connection of the battery series. Then next will be a range 
your apparatus according to the diagram. All the apparatus here connecting in series. Okay, and switch and the dot is actually considered as do not have any terminal. So you can uh, exchange the yeah, terminal whatever you want. Uh, but the ampere will be different. The black button here will be negative terminal, and here we have 1 ampere and 5 ampere for the positive terminal. So always start up your measurement with the lower uh, current, which is 1 ampere. Okay, so firstly, connect negative terminal. We connect it. Then next will be add the one of the terminal and the switch here. Make sure the product tip is connecting to the metal parts of the switch. Then next, keep the product tip here at the metal parts of the switch. And then connecting to the one side of the top of the Next will be connecting to the other side of the top of the And here you can see we are started our arrangement at the negative terminal. So the contact clip here will be connecting to the negative terminal, which is the black button on the end. Okay, so we have already finished packing for the negative terminal side. Okay. So the next will be connecting the positive terminal of the emitter with one ampere. Then here we'll be connecting to the positive terminal of the dry cell, which is at the second button at the top here. Okay, so you can close your switch, you can see the bump is lined up and we have the reading of the emitter which is a lot. This is a cross-up view for taking a reading on a voltmeter. You can see an image is formed from the metal strips. Therefore, the prax error is occur. Your eyes should be at this position so that there is no any image image form on the metal strips. At this position again, you can see the image is formed on the metal strips. So that you must ensure that your eyes is exactly in the front of the mirror when taking a reading on a voltmeter so that no image is formed on the mirror strips. 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay, so now we have already finished the arrangement for the battery which is connected series. Okay, and we get the observation of the bulb which is here, bright up, and the reading of the emitter. So now we need to arrange another arrangement on the battery which is the parent, and we want to compare the brightness of the bulb together with the current flow. So let us arrange now. For drive cell arranged in parent, we need to have two drive cell for Two battery, which is the constant variable for this experiment. Wire may connect it. One switch, one bulb together with bulb holder, and also the emitter. Again, arrange your apparatus according to that. So, firstly, insert your battery to the first space, connect it together with the negative in the first. Drive some Another battery will be inserts to another drive some holder. Again, will be at the first phase, which is together with it. So the negative terminal of the drive some holder here will be connecting to another negative terminal of the drive some. The positive terminal for the first high cell holder 
will be at here because we are inserting only the one right cell in each right cell component. Another contact plate will be clicked to the positive terminal of the another right cell holder here. Okay, so you can see now our battery, our two battery is already arranged in parallel. Okay, so the next will be arrange all the components according to that band, which is similar to the connection in series. Okay, so you may start up again, which is same as the series circuit with negative terminal first. Okay, so firstly, connecting your contact plate to negative terminal of the light cell here. Okay, and then another side will be at the metal parts of the switch. Okay, so next one I think the product gate to another side of the switch. Make sure your product gate connect to the metal parts of the switch. And then another side will be connecting to the one side of the battery model. And then now connecting your another side of the bulk holder to the product gate. And now we'll be connecting to negative terminal for the end as we started our connection with negative terminal, which is the black color button. Okay, so we have already finished connecting for the negative side. Now let us continue connecting the positive terminal for the emitter, which is started with at right here. And then another side will be to the positive terminal, which is at the first button at the top of the second drive cell here. Okay, so now let us observe the brightness of the part and its current flow. Okay, you may see the bulb is actually dimmer compared to the series circuit of the dark sound connection. And the emitter here did the reading is about 0 0.18, which is lower than the current flow rate in the uh, series circuit. Okay, so we can actually close the switch together. You can see very clear that the light bulb for the drive sound which is connecting in series is brighter compared to the light bulb which is connecting in parasite. And the current flowing at the circuit where the drive sound is connecting in series is also showing higher, okay, which is about 0 0.2. While for the video emitter for the circuit, which is connecting of the drive cell in parallel with only 0 0.8, which is lower compared to the drive cell which is connecting in the series. Okay, so this is very flat. This is due to the current flow rate in the circuit for the series is actually greater because of the drive cell connecting in series providing cracker EMF which is the E4 multi force circuit causes the current flowing to a circuit side. So in this experiment we can conclude that with the dry cell which is connected in series they will be providing cracker EMF and providing cracker current flow so that the bug will be brighter compared to the dry cell which is connecting in so that's all for my sharing. Thank you. Welcome back. So after you complete your experiment, straight away, come and answer the question. So this is the first question for this video. So based on the question, 
which diagram shows the various circuits. Okay, so as I mentioned just now, the question is actually no mention, not mentioned to you, which circuit here referring to series circuit or pair circuits. So we already clear that the pair circuit will be referring to diagram B. So this question is actually very easy. So you just give B, then you will get the first mark. Then the second, the question going to ask you about the suitable hypothesis. Okay. So in this question, we are not able to give the answer like NV increases, RV increases. Okay, because the NV here, we are actually referring to type of the circuit. So to me here, we have the two type of circuit. And then the RV here will be our reading of the emitter. So from here, when we are to compare two MV with our RV, we are actually can do the comparison for your hypothesis. Theoretically, actually, you already know that in series circuits, there will be more EMF, effective EMF provided to the circuit. So from this diagram, so there will be 1.5 times 2, which is equivalent to 3 volt supply to the circuit. While for the diagram B, there will be only 1.5 volt because the arrangement will be only providing effective EMF, which is equivalent to one light cell here. So due to the EMF provided is higher for diagram A, so the current flow will be higher for the dry cell, which is arranged in series. So this is a different answer for you. So the bump is brighter in the circuit where dry cell arranged in series. So you can give the comparison answer for this type of question in your hypothesis question here. Next, identify the variable. So the identified variable here, two marks actually referring to three variable, which is MV, RV will be normally one mark, then your CV will be another one mark. Okay, so the first mark will be given for MV as I mentioned. So many plated variable here will be the arrangement of the dry cell, which is in series or pair. Then the RV here will be reading or emitter. And actually you may also observing and comparing the brightness of the bar for these two different circuit here. Then the control variable here will be the numbers of the sound for each circuit here will be two. Okay, so the B, this is a question regarding a tabulation. Let's go through the question together. So tabulate your result for each arrangement of dry sound based on your experiment. Record the value of current, which is with the symbol I here, given by a question and compare the brightness of the bulb in the space provided, three marks here. Okay, so here the question asking you to tabulate your MV, arrangement of the dry sound. Then recording your I and compare the brightness will be referring to our RV. So here you have two responding variables are going to give in your table, which is the current value measured by using the emitter. And then the second one will be compare the brightness of the bar. So this will be like this. So firstly, you need to give the symbol or bar meter for the experiment here will be MV and RV. Lah. Okay, so the arrangement of the dry cell will be referring to the MV. And you may using symbol I to represent the value of the current, which is already given by the question. And the second responding variable are going to Observe will be the brightness of the bulb. Okay, then the second, you need to give the correct unit. So the unit for the current will be ampere. Okay, so this is the second uh, tips okay, you need to write in your tabulation. Okay, then third will be give your MV and RV uh, results. So here, the arrangement will be series and parallel. Okay, so here the current will be the reading from the emitter. 
So the reading where you get straight away from your measurement, we know as primary reading. And you need to follow the sensitivity of the apparatus. The apparatus we use to measure the current here is actually emitter. So you need to referring to the sensitivity of the emitter. So the emitter will be have different sensitivity. If I say you're using different type of the emitter here, and then you need to give, give the consistent decimal places for your answer also. Now let me show you how we get the sensitivity of the apparatus. Okay, so here, this is a emitter I'm using to measure my current in the circuit here. So here you may see that we have two skew in the emitter here. So when when your positive terminal, which is red button with one ampere, you are using, so that means you'll be read the bottom skew here. When the connecting wire is connected to five ampere, so you will be read the upper skew in your emitter where the maximum value here will be one. So from here, you can see that. So the 10 small segment here, here will be 0 0.2. I mean, here I connecting my connecting wire to one ampere here. So I will be read the bottom skill in emitter. So the 10 segment referring to 0 0.2. So when divide by 10, so that means the small segment here will be referring to 0 0.02. So here, the smallest skew is actually referring to 0 0.02. So the smallest division for my emitter here will be 0 0.02. Okay, so here, when pointer at the middle between two smallest division, so the answer here can be 0 0.20 or 0 0.22. So what is this means? So again, you can look at my result here. The pointer is actually at the middle between two small smallest division. Okay, between two division here. So what is the value we can get? So you can actually get the, re the reading below, before the line, so referring to 0 0.2. Or after the line here, you may select the division where below the pointer, which is 0 0.2, or above the pointer, which is referring to 0 0.22 here. Okay, so this is why I have two reading here. And finally, I get 0 0.22 here. So both is actually accepted. So you can see the reading for parallel, I actually get 0 0.18. So that means the 0 0.22 or 0 0.220 here will be always greater than the reading of the parallel, which is actually the logical answer for our experiment here. So where we already know that the arrangement of the last in series will be given a higher reading of the current. Okay, so here, you may actually assume that the smallest division is 0 0.01. So what means by this? Okay, so here you can see when the pointer at the middle, they will be the half of the smallest division. Just on a small division, we get 0 0.02 between two division. So let's say we assume the pointer at the middle is a half of the smallest division. So there will be 0 0.02 divide by 2, which is 0 0.01. So your answer here, you can give 0 0.21. So here you have two options. So let's say you assume the middle of the division is 0 0.02 divide 2. So you will get a smaller division is 0 0.01. So your answer 0 0.21 is accepted actually. However, for reduce the confusing, so this better for us to use straight away the first method just on I teach you when we get the smallest division equivalent to 0 0.02 so when the reading you want to choose you may choose the reading where below the pointer 0 0.20 or the reading above the, uh, the pointer which is 0 0.22 here Okay, and then the second, as I mentioned, we need to give consistent value. What is a consistent value? For example, just now, if I say you choose 0 0.2 and you give your answer 0 0.2, then the second answer you get 0 0.18. So you can see the decimal places is different. This is not a consistent reading. So the mark will be deducted. So make sure 
you always follow the smallest sensitivity, smallest division for the apparatus. So here you must give two decimal places for your all answer when you measure your current by using the emitter here. Then the next here will be, you will be observe the brightness of the bar. So for the series circuit, which is this, you can see the battery or the dry cell is connecting uh, in series. So the bug is brighter. The bug is light up brighter. Wow. You can see when the light cell connected in parallel. So the light, so the bug is light up dimmer. Okay, from this picture, this very clear that. So the brightness of the bug for series is brighter. Then the parallel will be dimmer. Lah. Okay, so number four here, as I mentioned, we need to give the logical data when your dry cell arranged in series will be have a higher value of I current and the bug is brighter. And the data where you get will be referred to the teacher where are going to, to do together the experiment during the actual day of the paper tree. Okay, so the Distribution mark for this uh, this tabulation will be if I say you get these four tips one two three four correctly, so you will get full marks three marks. So if I say you get three tick, you get two marks and others. Okay, so now we go to our next question. Okay, so C. Based on your result in D, state the relationship. As I mentioned just now, the common question where we will be asking you the relationship will be regarding the data analysis from your results. Okay, so here we total about four to five questions is regarding the data analysis. So based on the result in B, step relationship between arrangement of the dry cell with the brightness of the bar. Okay, so this table is the result from your answer in B. So in series, you can see your brightness of the bar is brighter. So here, the question number one, C1 here asks you to compare the arrangement of the dry cell and the brightness. So here, as I mentioned, we can give the comparison answer. So the dry cell arranged in series, in series will be produced brighter bar. So we can compare the answer and give one of the answer here. Or you want to give the dry cell arranged in parallel, produce a dimmer bar. Or you want to straight away give the comparison of the arrangement and the brightness for both circuit is also accepted where you can write as the bug produced by the dry cell arranged in series is brighter than the dry cells arranged in error. So you can give this kind of comparison and so so. Okay, then the next will be ask you to give the relationship uh, between the arrangement of the dry cell and the current so the current will be here so again you can see for the series arrangement of dry cell will be given you higher current so again you can give the comparison answer so the dry cell arranged in series produce higher current in the circuit so the third give a reason for your answer in c1 and 2 so this one we already discussed in our theory before the experiment question okay so where the current flow will be higher and the bug is that uh and the bug is brighter for the dry cell arranged in series this due to the emf the effective emf provided by the dry cell arranged in series is higher so that can produce more current flow so then the bug is brighter okay so the dry cell arranged in series provide higher effective emf electro motive force then the next question make a deduction so the question asks you to make a deduction relating c1 relating c3 so the c3 will be this to the answer c1 and c2 so the c3 will be regarding the providing higher emf then the c1 and 2 is regarding the arrangement of the dry cell which in series circuit will be given brighter but and the current. So we need to relate brightness of the bug, current flow, uh, arrangement of the dry cell, 
together with the EMF here for your answer C4 here. So the answer will be like this. Uh. Dry cell arranged in series provide higher electron multi force, which will be at LC, C3. This allow more current flow in the circuit and cause the bulb to light out more brighter. So this will be referring to your C1, C2 for current, and this one will be C1. Uh, this will be C1. Okay, so this is a reference answer for how we answering the deduction question here. Okay, then the next here will be the operational definition. Based on this experiment, state the operational definition of series circuit. The question asks you to give the operational definition for series circuits. How we write the answer for operational definition? So here will be the method I want to show you. So firstly, you need to relate your RV together with the method in your answer. So the RV for the series circuit will be uh, current produced higher for the arrangement of the dry cell, which is end to end, which is showing is a series circuit. And the method here will be reconnecting the all component completely. So the answer, series circuit is an arrangement. Okay, so this is an arrangement of the dry cell that produce more current. So this is our RV. When the electrical circuit is connected completely, this will be our method. You must answer uh, with this format I given here, RV plus method. Okay, so the series circuit is an arrangement of dry cell because of the our experiment. Okay, so we, we our series circuit here referring to the arrangement of the dry cell. So where will be produced more current is the observation of the emitter we get, which is referring to our V of our question. And the method for our experiment will be electrical circuit connecting completely. Okay, then the next question will be regarding the step one precaution for experiment. So for the way how we write correct precaution, again here you can follow the method here. So give the method which is able to give a better result and the reason why. Okay, so here we have actually many answers for our experiment here. So the first, all connecting wire are tightened so that current can flow well. You can see method here will be all connecting wire are tightened so that current can flow well will be the reason. So this answer, this precaution answer is able to use for all type of the experiment, which is uh, related to electrical circuit. Huh? Then the second here, you can give, turn off the switch every time a reading is taken so that the connecting wire does not heat up quickly because when the temperature increases, the resistance will be increases. So your result will be not accurate already. So here again, turn off the switch every time a reading is taken. So this will be the method. Reason, the connecting wire does not heat up quickly will be reason. Okay, again, so these two answer is suitable for the experiment which is relating electrical circuit. Okay, then here I give another uh, example of precaution for this experiment. Position of our eyes must be perpendicular to the skill reading of n meter to avoid or reduce parallax error. You must give the apparatus name for your answer in precaution. So here to here will be method and then avoid parallax error or reduce parallax error here referring to reason. Okay, then we go to our last question for this experiment. So predict what happens to the readings of emitter if one dry cell is arranged in branch to the existing two 
dry cell in diagram B explained. Okay, so this is the diagram B. So you can see the dry cell is arranged in parallel where they are actually branched to each other. So the question asking you, if I say now we want to add on one more dry cell, which is also branched to each other. So what is the reading for your emitter? One mark and then explain your answer. Okay, so for sure that that's how we already discussed. If we add on the dry cell, which is arranged in parallel, so the effective EMF will be remain constant. So the reading of the emitter will be unchanged. So the answer here will be the reading of emitter remain unchanged. First mark, this is the prediction for the reading of the emitter when we add on one more dry cell which is branched to each other which is referring to bearer so reason because the uh, effective because the total effective emf or electro motive force provided to the circuit is constant which will be equivalent to one dry cell which is here can be 1.5 to all so the emf supply will be only 1.5 volt Okay, so that's all for my sharing today. So I hope that you may more understand how to answer your paper three. Good luck to you all.